everyone welcome back to in the kitchen with sandy and today i'm going to share with you a recipe for um a mississippi pot roast now i know it looks a little odd um, but i have nobody here to film today and i wanted to get this recipe out to you this is in the kitchen with sandy um style of the um internet sensation of the mississippi pot roast um like i said i have nobody to film today so i've got my camera just stacked on top of some cereal boxes so we're going to see how this goes um you know there are times when i want to get recipes out to you but i have nobody here to film and um you're you're going to notice coming up in the near future i'm going to have all kinds of different um creativity creative ways to get recipes to you um i will be doing which i already have some of my um in the kitchen with sandy uh channel some short videos like the ones that you see floating around um like i don't know what they are delish or tasty or something to that effect but anyway they're a little short little doo, 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 where you just have you know you don't really see this beautiful face you see um just a, like a little two minute version minute version of the recipe um, but anyway um let's go ahead and get started what I've got today is, and I'm going to point the camera down so you can see what I've got today. And I'm not kidding you. Listen, I sent my husband to the store. I said, honey, I'm going to make pot roast. I want to make a Mississippi pot roast because we're trying to do the low carb thing and I'm trying to make meals or dishes that um, we can just go to the kitchen and we can eat in a hurry because when I'm hungry, you better move the hell out of my way because I, you know, whatever. I'll pick up the cat and eat it if I have to, if I get really hungry. But I said, I need a, um, I'm going to make chuck roast. So I need a chuck roast. So bless his heart. He comes home with this English cut roast, which is not your typical um, roast that you make with the, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? But it's not the typical cut of roast that you make with the Mississippi um, pot roast but you know what what I always tell you use what you got in your kitchen so this is what I'm gonna use today he was so proud and he just boasted because it said right on their English cut pot roast and he thought he just done the best thing and you know I praised you gotta praise him you gotta praise him you did good baby you did good so let's go over what we're gonna be using today okay for this recipe I'm going to be using this is the English cut um, chuck roast like i said our english cut uh pot roast now this is going to be absolutely amazing but like i said the typical um cut of meat that you use is the chuck roast but this is going to work because you know i love my husband and i've decided to let him live another day even though he got the wrong one you're going to use some um, ranch dip we're not going to go what kind it is and i'm going to use some all juice and I've got some pepperoncinis. I'm going to use the whole ones. You can use the um, ones that are sliced if you would like. Or you can just take those and de-seed them and slice them yourself. I've got two cloves of garlic in here. And what I'm going to do with the garlic is I'm just going to smash it and peel it. And I'm going to throw it in there whole because it's going to give a, a nice extra flavor. I've got some butter here. This is a little bit over a half of a stick. And we're going to use a little bit of beef broth. Now, you know, what's amazing about this is... Um, this is going to create, I'm going to pick you up so you can see my beautiful face. This is going to create such a um, glorious, how is it? I have my hair on point. Um, this is going to create such a fabulous um, broth, juice, what have you. And it's, you know, if you want to pluck it out and once you're done with your meat, you can make some um, noodles. For it to go over noodles rice you can throw some vegetables in there whatever you want to do you can this this recipe can carry on for days honey if you let it um so let's go ahead and get started work with me work with me you gotta work with me okay here we go okay what i'm going to do is now you notice i've got my roast here I am just going to take my two little cloves of garlic because you know I put garlic in every single thing that I cook. I'm not kidding you. I do. Garlic is a main staple item in my kitchen and you can always find garlic. Just go ahead. Did you see how I've done that? You just give it a little smash and let the peelings come off absolutely so easy. Um, and what we're going to do is, oh, God, it smells so good already. You're going to take your crock. 
sorry. I'm sorry. Just throw this garlic in there whole. We're not going to chop them up. We're not going to do any of that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and open our beef broth. We're going to use probably about three-fourths cup of this. And just pop it in there. About three-fourths cup. To a, to a whole cup. Hell, that's about a, that's about a whole cup. Now, I like to throw mine in here. Open your package up. Oh, I don't want you to see that. And put it in there. This is so easy to make, and your house is going to smell amazing. Um, and then the all juice. I like to use the all juice because it makes for such a wonderful flavor. And the juices are just going to run right out of your roast or your piece of meat, whatever you got in there. Pour that in there. And I like to give mine a stir. Now, I've seen where people um, just pour everything on top. I like to give it a stir. And then we're going to place our meat right in there. Place it right in your crock pot. Let's see if I can get you to get a little look at that there. See how that looks so far? Watch me drop the damn camera right in there. Okay, and then... You guys are lucky. You're getting you're getting a good shot here. And um, then we're going to take our pepperoncinis here, and we're just going to add about I don't know five, six, seven, eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to add about ten of them in there. I don't have about eleven or twelve. I love these things. I love to eat these with. I'm not kidding. I like them with anything. Go ahead and pour some of your juice right in there. And if a pepper comes out of there, so be it. Now, and then what else you're going to do is you're going to stick your butter right on top. And that's it. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see that in there? Isn't that wonderful? I'm sorry. I'm really trying to get you to see this real good. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to pop this in um, my crock pot and... I'm going to turn mine on high because I want mine to be done um, today, sometime today. And it's going to take probably about five, um, five and a half, six hours, but I'll let you know the exact times. You can cook it slower. You can put this in the crock pot before you leave for work and turn it on low um, and let it roast to perfection all day long while you're at work. Now, the great thing about using crock pots is any cut of meat, I promise you, it comes out absolutely so tender so tender so that's why i uh, wasn't so that's why i decided to let him live when he come home with this instead of the chuck roast that um, i normally make this with because i knew that you know it's going to be amazing it's going to be amazing um so anyway i'm going to put this in my crock pot and i'm going to turn it on high my house is going to smell amazing and then we'll come back here and see what it looks like when it's done okay my mississippi pot roast is done to perfection it cooked in um my crock pot for about six and a half, seven hours on high, and it is fall off. If it, if it had a bone, it would be fall off the bone tender. It is simply amazing, and the juices that um, it rendered, along with the um, the ranch and the all juice, it's amazing, absolutely amazing, and it's going to go fabulous over some noodles. You're going to love this. I promise you, you're going to love this. I want you to look at this, and it is fall off tender. Look at that. I saved it. Whoa. I saved a hunk so I could show you how exactly how tender that is. Look at that. That just peels right off there. It just, and what I did is took a fork and just peeled the meat right off there. Look at that. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to dip it right in that juice right there. I'm going to dip it right in that juice. I'm going to bring you back up here so you can get a look at this face. I'm going to take a bite of this wonderful stuff. Mmm. It's amazing. So full of flavor. So tender. You're going to love this. I promise you. Mmm. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs> Photo shoot. This is pretty fun.
this is fine you can see how beautiful i really am i'm making you a pot roast baby a pot roast i probably shouldn't be i'm making you a pot roast baby a pot roast all right this is getting weird isn't it